What's up, YouTube? It's DV, and we're back in Roblox Island, and we're going to be doing a Noob to Pro video today. We're going to be getting lots and lots of money, okay? We're going to start from fresh. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, and so let's go and get started. It's been so long since I've done one of these. I'm kind of excited. I'm also a little nervous because the last time I did this, it took like it took so many hours, but there's some shortcuts. I'm going to show you the shortcuts today, so if you have not played Islands yet, follow along. Definitely follow along. It's going to be worth it. So we need to get a little bit of something like that. We need to get our pickaxe. We're going to go and dig up some grass. They haven't really changed the tutorial. They did change a couple things about the game. It's a little bit easier now to get smelters and it's a little bit easier now to get um, steel. I'm just gonna use a little bit of wood for that, okay? Oh man, it's, it doesn't want me to shortcut. Dude, I was just shortcutting it, man. It's okay. All right, so there are a couple ways you can kind of shortcut this, all right? I'm gonna tell you one of them. One of them is if you have friends. If you have a friend, you can use their farm. In particular, you wanna use their berry farm to farm a ton. You can get so much money and so much XP and all that fun stuff right away. But we're gonna assume you have no friends in this game. If that's the case, you need some help. By the way, sell your cow. You guys sell it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my thing, okay? But you got to sell that cow. It is useless. It's useless. Trust me. It's useless. All it's going to do is chase you around on your island. You don't want any of that. So typically, I would show you like the hard way, okay? Typically, I would show you in a noob to pro how to do this the hard way, but I'm going to show you a little bit of an easy way, and that is being able to buy stuff from shops. So I don't think you want to go the hard route. If you wanted to go the hard route, I would make this a hardcore noob to pro. And let me tell you, it takes a long time, okay? It takes a really really long time to do that but no i'm pretty sure you're gonna want to know the easiest way to get rich in the game and you know we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and that's without begging okay we're not gonna be doing any begging begging is definitely a way to go though okay we got enough wood here next thing what we need to do is we need to make a tier one workbench so let's go look at that we're gonna need some iron so let's go get our iron we just need to go out here all right so first things first you're gonna get a little turned around when you first spawn into the hub if you're looking at the portal here turn around <laughs> And then you can head this way. Now, what we really need to do is go to mine some stuff. I kind of wish they were closer, but you got to go all the way in the back. Oh, we can go and sell this, by the way. We can sell crops to Tom. So let's go and sell that. And we can sell this too. We got economy XP. Yay. So I have a thousand coins thanks to the cow. And we're going to head over here to the left. You can see it says mine. Go all the way over here. It used to be a little easier to get to the mines, but it's pretty far now. It's a little dark, so we're going to go and turn off shadows. There we go. All right. So you're just going to use your pickaxe on this. You can use an axe. I would not recommend it. Okay. That's all we needed. We just needed a little bit. Let's come back here. Upgrade. Boom. Now it's upgraded. So we can go in here now. And what I would do next is buy a wooden sword. We're going to go and do that. We also need a fishing rod. So we got these two things. By the way, fishing is so much better now. So they did do a fishing update. Let's go ahead and just move that out. We're going to go there, there, boom, boom. Okay. So they made fishing so much better. Oh, you know what? I need two. I need a fire. We're going to need this. So we need just two more wood. So let's do that real quick. All right. Let's get a little fire going. And that's for this. So we can make iron and stuff. So we're going to go out to the hub and we're going to go level up our combat a bit. And then we also need this. But what we're going to be doing, we're going to be killing slimes for a bit because we're going to plan on getting a smelter as soon as we can. And that's going to help our automation. By the way, if you come back out to the hub and you're looking for the adventure area, like where to go and kill slimes and stuff, um, you basically have to cut across the fields over here. It's kind of weird. But you have to cut across. So don't go this way and head into the middle. You want to go to the right. So head over here and then go into this portal right here. All right. Right. And so what you're going to want to do is get your sword out. You're going to kill these um, slimes. Now you want to click on them, okay? You don't want to like just run up to them and take damage. And then you're going to do what we call as kiting. So as they get closer, you kind of, you know, walk backwards or away from them. So ultimately what you're looking for are pink slimes. And we're also leveling up our combat. So you can see I'm only doing 10 damage right now. We are going to try to make a better weapon as soon as we can, because this thing's really bad. There's a pink slime. You can see it back there. Now they do a lot more damage. So we're going to try to keep back from them. Ah, that's not too bad. Okay, we got slime tokens. So we can go and kill this slime boss soon too. While we're out here, by the way, we can also farm some iron. So I'll do that too. Ooh, nice. Light melee. Now the devs are constantly working on the game. So, you know, if you watch this video in like a couple months and the game is very different, I'll probably make an updated video. Oh, that guy's so small. Too bad he's the same health. Best way to kill these guys are through spell books. Such a pain. This is such a pain. Another thing you could do, just so you don't take too much damage, you just kind of put your mouse behind you and try to line it, line them up on it. So you don't have to keep moving your mouse. See like this. I mean, they're going to keep running at you. So why put in all the effort? Let them do the effort. Let them get exhausted. Okay, I saw this guy is pretty close to dying. There we go. All right, so we're leveling up a bit. Um, when we level up combat, by the way, you want to reload the game to see the effects of combat XP or levels. By leveling up combat XP, you're going to see an increase in your base health. 
but you, you won't see it until you reload the game. I'll show you that in a second. The other thing we're trying to do, by the way, is we're trying to get enough XP. So you, we need um, level seven to get to the next island. And let's see where we're at. We're probably really low right now. We are at level three right now. Now, this video will not show any like handouts. So I'm not going to get any kind of handouts from anyone. But um, if you have any friends or anything like that to help you out in the game, definitely worth doing. But yeah, the first thing you want to do is really just grind these slimes. It's going to give you a lot of the essentials in the game. And you can sell these um, slime balls for money. But you need this combat XP no matter what. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Pirate Island pretty soon. It is not XP locked or level locked. So we can start killing mobs over there right away. And that's going to that's going to be really good for us. All right. So we're level four. You can see plus six are our max health. So we should be 106 right now, but it's not reflected yet because we have to reload the game. Also, you can go back to this adventure guy. I forgot. I forgot to mention. See, I've got pink slime and I've got green slime balls and stuff. Just sell them to this adventure guy. Go to him. Save you shop. Go and sell all this. All right. So we just got a little bit more money. We have 1600 now. There are so many people that have been watching me for so long, especially on the island side. And they say they only have 3000 coins. It just blows my mind. It's like how long you've been watching me and you only have thousands of coins. I mean, I've shown so many people how to get a ton of coins. Um, the other thing you can do for money, by the way, is you can get your fishing pull out. You can go and fish right here. So the devs did revamp this. It's really nice. So basically put the bobber out and it's like bed wars now. So it's kind of like the fisherman kit. So we can basically do this. And then unfortunately it's a common. In fact, you're probably gonna get a lot of comments because I've got a basic um, fishing pull. I also have a basic, like I, I'm, I'm brand new. It's a brand new account. So the higher level, the more rare you're gonna get stuff. Your luck increases, but this fish is actually still worth a lot so so yeah you don't have to really like fish precisely on the fish anymore you don't have to like throw or cast with a ton of precision it's pretty nice i got a catfish where do, oh it's level locked all right so we're getting a lot of xp there that's nice um what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to pirate island now and these items here are gonna be so much better for you especially if you're trying to level up like you can go kill the crabs crabs are pretty good xp i'm gonna show you that right now so you see, I just got five yellow coral. You can't really spend anything with that. You also got coconut and sand. The coconut's kind of nice because we can sell that later. Um, we can also kill bandits in a second. So we're gonna go over there and do that. So you can come up here and talk to these guys. You can get like saplings. You can also sell kiwi to them. So you can see 32, we can buy stuff. So let's go ahead and take some quests and then let's go talk to this one as well. They're gonna give us a quest. You know, they also have other things you can do. You can sell bones for 22 coins, but um, what you wanna do is take the quest. So we already did this one. And then the minor pirate, that one's pretty good too. They're not giving you XP for completing quests, but they actually do give you items, which is kind of nice. So let's head out here. We're going to kill some bandits. You also have a quest log right here. So you can see if you are curious about which quests you have active, you can see them all here. We need to defeat some bandits. So all this stuff we're getting XP from at least while we do them. Nice thing about this too is um, if you grind this area, you can get a pretty nice sword. It's like one of the best places to get a sword at. It does take a, a while to get though. So it's going to take multiple days to do that. We're not going to do that in this video because it takes so long. The other cool thing about these guys is you can just do this and their knockback's pretty good. You're not going to get hit by them. Nice. We just leveled up. We can actually access Buffalo Core Island now. All right. So we did enough of these. I'm going to go ahead and take these quests back real quick. So we did three of the, his quests. Slayer Pirates. All right. View quest. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we got all his done. All right. So you can see we got 30 bones. We're going to go do the Kiwis real quick, but um, we're going to sell our bones as well. And what we're going to do with all this money is we're going to buy some wheat because we need to get economy XP. That's going to be our shortcut in this game. We can buy most of the things we need very cheaply. So let's go over here. Let's finish this Kiwi task. So Kiwi trees are over here near the crabs. Another tree over here leveled up already it gives you good xp for farming those two then we can sell these as well too and then we're just going to circle back around all right so let's go to the botanist let's go and sell what we've got view quest done and then let's go and sell our kiwis 576 pretty good just leveled up we're going to go and sell our bones 660 Got another level there. And we're gonna try to make a better pickaxe so we can finish that one quest. So we need wood and stone to be able to make a better pickaxe or we can make, um, yeah, we can't make an anvil yet. So let's go and do that. Put some of those in and let's get some stone. For stone, you can go out back out to the hub or you can just do this. All right, we have enough for our pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make it. Now we can head back out. It's gonna be so much easier to mine. So let's go ahead and make a stone ax too. All right, we got a stone ax as well. So let's go get rid of those. That looks good. Okay, let's go back out. Mine some obsidian. We're also gonna buy some wheat. So let's go sell our crops. Okay, we have 3,300 to buy some wheat. Highly recommend wheat first. We've got 25 seeds already. Sweet, let's go back. Put them down. So this entire area is going to end up being wheat. So let's go and get rid of all these trees. 
out of here. We're gonna go over here to level up our combat with Buffa Core. Just kill a few of these on the way over. Before we do that though, we're going to kill the Slime King. Just watch out because he does charge. Once he does a little squish, you can just kind of turn around on him. So just keep kind of turning around on him so he doesn't hit you. I just kind of stay diagonal to him so like he doesn't jump at me. We almost got him down. He should give you some decent XP too, but he'll give you um, good items. Usually green sticky gears, usually some green slime. Sometimes a pink sticky gear, which is really what we want. All right, we got him. Look at that XP. So we got a pink sticky gear, sweet. We got one of each actually. That looks pretty good. One of each, we got some tokens, I think. That means we can actually make smelter already. Well, besides some of the other materials we need. So let's go over here to kill some buffa core. Look at all these buffa core. Similar to slimes, you could just pretty much sit here and hit them and knock them back so they never get to you. You might have to move every now and then. It's a lot easier than moving around and chasing them down though. So unfortunately there's nothing you can really sell off of buffa cores. Um, you could sell iron, I wouldn't recommend it because you're gonna need every bit of that. On the other hand, once we get to Wizard Island, you can sell those glass potions, the empty glass bottles, 14, we just need six more levels. We can make a small furnace. So let's go ahead and do that next. That's going to speed things along quite a bit. Let's go check on our farm. Definitely need a sickle. So we're going to make one real quick. So if you ever watch my hardcore series, it's way harder than what we're going to be doing today. All right, we're going to make a sickle real quick. Sweet, we did that. So from now on, we're going to be using this to gather up our crops. Let's see how we're doing on the furnace. We can make the furnace pretty soon. We just need one more stone, in fact. Let's go and just grab that real quick. Just take it from here. Boom, let's upgrade. It's going to save us so much time, by the way. Let's put it right there. We're going to start her up. You can put 50 in here. By the way, as you level up your wood cutting and your mining, it's so much easier to cut. Your um, tools will actually cause more damage as you level up. All right, we're going to do a quick run again. Let's go ahead and sell our crops. I right, got a thousand. Nice. Let's go sell our slimes. And that's all we can really sell right now. Looks like we have a couple fish. We're not going to bother. Let's go back to Buffalo Court and continue killing, though. We need to get to level 20. And we're getting really close. We're only four levels away. Oh, you know what? I forgot we can kill the Slime King again. Let's go do that. So Islands is not one of those games you can become noob to pro in, like, 40 minutes. You know, unlike some other games you've played, you got to be patient with this game. You got to spend a lot of time. It's kind of like a Booga Booga style game where you got to grind. And you really kind of start getting into, like, the whole trade economy in here. See how there's, like, published islands. It's pretty crazy. So we need a couple more levels. Looks like we need like four more levels. Ooh, we just got a portal shard. Nice. That's money, by the way. We can sell that. Now, what I would do if I were you, if you're brand new to the game, I would go, and, and this is kind of messed up, I would actually ask someone on a published island for a basic starter weapon. Like ask for like a cactus spike or um, just anything that they're not using anymore that's not a wooden sword. You can say like, hey, do you have an iron sword I can use? They might give you something really good. If you're really, you know, don't ask them for the best weapon possible. Don't ask them for a ruby stack. Don't ask them for anything crazy, crazy powerful. Chances are they'll give you a spell book or something that's really powerful in the game just because you're being humble and not asking for the world. Like if you're asking for something that's basic, most players have like an iron sword they're not using, okay? Iron swords are super cheap, but they're gonna be better than a wooden sword. Let's go sell our stuff. So we have a bunch of stuff we can sell now. It's not gonna be a lot. We have 1500 right now. So there's that. So what we're doing is we're working on economy XP as well at the same time. We're going to try to get to level 25, which is going to allow us to be able to buy and sell stuff. We're going to do that in a little bit. Let's go here. Let's sell these. All set. We got to expedite this. We need to get to that level 25 as fast as we can. Don't worry about any of this stuff, by the way. Just stick with your wheat seeds. Don't get distracted. So we're just trying to get as much stone as we can real quick. We can get some of this stuff too. So much of the starter stuff uses stone. It's crazy. Go back. We should be able to upgrade pretty soon here. We need 10 more wood and just one more iron. So we got the iron. Let's go and get the wood. Okay, we can upgrade. Upgraded. Sweet. We're going to make another one of these. So we'll make two more. We're going to make some gold in this one. Put some coal in there. And now we need to go farm. Wait, I forgot this guy comes. That's right. He helps you. Arius, that's right. So let's claim the reward. It gives you an iron totem. Man, you get so many free seeds from doing this too. Look at that. All right, we're going to go sell this to this guy. Economy leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. So we just have three more levels of fighting to do. I'm not going to bother with the Slime King anymore because we don't really need him right now. So something else I want to show you if you didn't already know how to do this. You notice my sword position, so I'm facing this way. I, I'm basically going to hit anything that's in this area, but also you can double hit. I, a lot of people don't realize this, but you can double hit. So check this out. So I'm going to bring him over here. I'm going to face my guy towards this one, and I'm going to keep my mouse on this one. See that? So you can pretty much um, hit both sides. So I'll show you that again. Let's bring this guy over here. Actually, I'll, I'll bring these together. We're gonna try to round them up. So you get them from both sides here. So I'm gonna have my mouse on this guy and I'm hitting both at the same time. 
Now, hitting three at the same time, you kind of have to have them bunched up. <laughs> All right, this should be the last Belphicor we have to kill for a while. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's go over to Wizard Island next. But first, we need to go and harvest because it's been a while. Let's go over here. Let's go get some more wood as well. We need some fuel. So you got to cut down some wood. Go and harvest that. The only reason why we ever want to harvest this instead of just using totems is we definitely want to try to get some crystallized iron. And the only way to get that is by breaking this. All right, we got enough wood for fuel. Do this again real quick. All right, let's go and fill this up. Put in 10, put in the rest of our gold. By the way, definitely use an auto clicker. Anytime you're playing islands, I highly recommend it. So let's go and harvest all this up and then we're gonna go put it all back down. And as soon as you can get a better sickle, the better. This one's really bad, but it's, it's okay. And then we can buy more seeds. We get 10 more. All right, so we need to make an anvil pretty soon here. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us. It is, I think it's like 50. Yeah, it's still 50, so we need a lot more iron. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get there pretty soon. So now we can make iron tools, which is really nice. We can also make an iron sword if we really wanted to. It's only, it's not that bad, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that. And that's only five wood plus two more iron. So we can do that real quick. So we got the iron. Let me go cut down this tree real quick. Not my fruit tree. And I just need one more wood. There we go. So it is fall. So I don't know why Cletus is not here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a published island in a minute. I think we just missed out because we're technically a new player. And so I'm gonna go to a published island in a moment and then we're gonna come back. But let's go sell our crops first. Get these out of here because we are going to need enough money to be able to buy stuff from Cletus. All right, we got enough for the iron sword. We're going to get rid of our wooden. Sweet. And our iron sickle is doing a way better job. Look at that. All right, so we're in the wizard area, wizard island. So it's level 36 to be able to get to desert island. So we got a, we got a bit of grinding to do. We no longer have our daily bonus, which is unfortunate. So the key for these guys is to keep circling them. Don't stand in front of them or else you're going to die. I also haven't um, reloaded the game yet, so I should probably do that soon. Otherwise, I'm probably going to die. The boss is pretty painful, too. You definitely want to get that um, combat health up first before you go and fight the boss. Because if, if you die to the boss while you're in the middle of battle, you got to wait for the whole timer again, which is unfortunate. So what we're really grinding these for right now are for the spellbook pages. We really need those. We can also get bottles. You can see we got some bottles here. That's kind of nice. Usually takes, I think it usually takes about like 40 minutes to an hour to grind this one. All right. I think this is a good time. Let's see what our health benefit is. Is 40 so we will have 140 health let's go and do that real quick all right so you can see i've got 140 health now just need to reload to get that if you really care if you really care for me 40 is going to make a big difference all right time to summon the boss let's see hopefully we don't die at least i have star for deed if i need to these are easy these little bolts are easy but this part it's like impossible to avoid it it doesn't that one doesn't hurt as bad though thankfully but those hurt. So pretty much all I'm doing is I'm shift running. I'm holding down W and D to keep strafing while I have my mouse on them. My cursor's on them the entire time. Pretty easy. There we go. We only got potion bottles. Dude, what a ripoff. So we need to wait another 43 minutes or we need to get enough tokens. Wizard tokens. How many do I have? I've got a lot. I've got 105. How much does he need? He needs 500. So I, have, I need 400 more of those. So part of the reason why we're grinding this too is for rare items that you can actually sell to shops. And you know what, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get more pink sticky gears because we can sell those. All right, there's their workbench. I'm just gonna borrow it real quick. So if you go down here to smelter, I just need eight steel rods. So I, I can, I've got my pink sticky gear. I just need eight steel rods. And in order to be able to make steel, they have this new thing that's called a blast furnace. So we're gonna go ahead and work on making one of those. For the blast furnace that's right here, it only requires 50 brick. Now the downside is we need to make brick then. So let me get some clay. Let's see how much the clay totem is gonna be. I don't think we can, I don't think we have it unlocked yet. Oh, maybe I do, I do. So I need 10,000 coins to get a clay totem. All right, let's see if this will do it. We might have 10,000 now, let's see. Yep. There we go, level 18 already. So we just need seven more levels for the economy XP to get um, purchase access to vendings too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back over to the totems guy over here, I'm going to buy that clay totem, boom. Oh, we got a tulip, we'll sell those later too. All right, we can start making some brick. I'm also gonna get a better pickaxe, this is pretty bad. So I'm gonna start leveling out my island as well at the same time, just gonna make things easier. All right, I just made myself an iron ax just so things can go a little faster on wood too. We've got so much iron now, got like almost 100. So I was gonna convert to a tier three, but you know, I'm gonna save up my money and just buy one, best way to go. All right, I think I have enough to be able to make this thing. Um, let's see, what do we need? <laughs> we only needed 20 iron, but it's 50 brick. It did take a little while, but not too bad. So let's go ahead and put this over here and we gotta feed it both i think we just need to feed it coal 
Wait, can we fit? Yeah, it has to be coal. It's only 20 steel ingots, so let's go ahead and put in like 20 iron, and we need to go get some coal. All right, we got like 1,800 wheat. Let's go ahead and sell it and see what we get. All right, looks like we're going to get 13,000. Not bad. So we can go over here. Ooh, we only need four more levels, too. We're going to go over here and get a coal totem. Wait, we can't get a coal totem yet? Oh, we need level 14. What's our current level? We should be able to get that really fast. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Um, easy, easy, by the way, to level up your mining fast. Just go over to Buffacore Island. So we're going to head over there now. And you're just going to go and farm gold. Ooh, there's one right here. Look at that XP. You can do the iron, too. There we go. Level 14. Doing a quick harvest. All right, I just leveled up again. Our economy is 22. Dude, we just need three more. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go get that totem. Get that coal totem. Boom. We're going to need it anyway for the smelter. In the meantime, I'm going to go get a bunch of coal. So we don't have to wait for the totem. There is the coal. So the coal's the the one with the black on it. There we go. I think we have enough. Yeah, we got 14. That's enough. So now we got to just pop in some coal here. We'll put some extra in here because we're going to always need steel. So I might as well just fill this up. There we go. Let's go and get the totem out. We'll set it up over here. There we go. This game used to be much harder. Once upon a time, we couldn't, um, we had to replant our own saplings. Now it's just auto replant. We didn't have sickles. And before we couldn't even make this thing. This thing's actually a really nice save. We're able to make steel now. So we're going to need, uh, I think 60. Let me see. Yeah, we need 60 steel. All right, we can make one steel rod. We need two more. Now we have three of them. So we're going to go craft our smelter. Let's go and get another one of these furnaces. There we go. I think I need like, I'm going to make another blast furnace, but it's like, I need two more bricks. And I think we can get economy level 25. Let's go try. We just got to do one more run on this. Now we don't actually have to replant this afterwards. We're pretty much done with the crops. We only use this to be able to get um, economy XP up, but now we get money faster elsewhere. I'm gonna show you in a second. So we're gonna sell what we have in the hub real quick before we get that XP. So let's go and do that. We should level up. Okay, so now we can go and buy. We can buy and sell. So I have 32,000 now, that's plenty. And I got some slimes I can sell. Let's go sell this real quick. And with this 30,000, I think I don't think we're gonna be able to afford the spell book because I think the spell book's going for more. I think the spell, spell book's going for like, I think over 50,000. All right, let's go see what we can do. Let's go to, let's go to Sickalicious. He's got pretty good prices. Okay, so he's buying mostly treasure chests. I don't have a pirate right now. He didn't visit me. We got a bunch of stuff, but not a ton. Let's see what's down here. Workbenches, cool. Oh, I can sell tokens to him. I don't need these these are all full machine is full okay so i i just sold all those tokens i'm gonna sell wizard boss tokens now this is hilarious okay so i can't sell slime ones slime ones are a hundred i guess i can keep them i have a ton of them i don't really want them but that's fine so that just gave me a ton of money, by the way. Now I have 388,000. I'm like down here now. So what else can what else can I sell? Can I sell a smelter to him? How much are how much is he buying smelters for? Because smelter prices just went down. So I doubt he's buying them. Look at all these trophies he's got. It's crazy. So I can't afford those. These are most of these are limited. But he's selling this for 75,000. That's a pretty good price. We also have a cactus spike here. I would just say get one of these. Like this is the best one you can get anyway. These aren't these are okay. Spellbook does the most damage out of all weapons. So we're going to go and buy that. And then we could buy a better one of these. 120. It's kind of expensive for me to be spending right now. So we're just going to leave that for now. Industrial. Okay. How much can I sell green stickies to him for? Oh, wait. Out 8,000. 8,000. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I sold all my greens to him. How much, how much is he doing? Okay. I've got two blues. I could sell those for 20,000 each. So I can either sell my pink sticky gear for 650,000 or I could sell the industrial. Here's why this is funny. Everyone wants these because of the, um, these farms, right? But the fact that I can sell this for the same amount shows that pink sticky gears are very much in demand still because of the watermelon farm. So you do need pink sticky gears to be able to upgrade your totems. So I could sell that for 650 and I'd be pretty much a millionaire. So let's go and do it. All right. So we already got a million and let's see what else we can do here. I mean, I got a million now. Is there anything that's going to help me like in a big way? I mean, I can get a drill, but I don't really want one. I can sell some electrite. I don't need these. Okay. Sold all those. I have one of these. I don't need. Let's go and sell these. Oh, I can sell salmon to him for 10,000. There we go. So I already have a million limiteds. We don't need any limiteds. Don't need no stinking limiteds. All right, these are all colored blocks. We don't need those. Event items. I don't think I have any event items. Not yet. You can sell bones for 500 here. Jeez. Okay, so if I get starfruit seeds, I can get 100,000. And then watermelon seeds. I wish it was summer. Oh, yeah, I can sell my... I forgot about... I have a buffalo core shard. Let's sell that. I just got 700,000 from that. I can sell catfish for 1,500. And this is the way to go. Just sell, sell to him. He's got a really nice shop. Is there anything else I could sell to him? What about flowers? Does he... Is he buying flowers? 
I don't think he's doing flowers. Yeah, he's not buying any flowers. He's not buying wood either. All right, so let's go see if we can find Cletus. Okay, I found Cletus. I found Cletus. He's over here. He's hiding, dude. He's hiding. All right, so we're going to buy these, and then we're going to buy the pumpkin seeds. Really good deal. And then we're going to sell them. So let's see what this guy's buying them for. Oh, he might be selling. He might be buying flowers too. Or I could sell gold. Or I could sell steel rods for 15,000. Let's do it. These are all regular flowers. Are you buying tulips? Oh, she's buying gold for a good price. Just sold all mine. Man, I'm getting, I almost have 2 million. Let's flip the pumpkin seeds. Man, if today was summer and I could find a watermelon, Oh my gosh, I'd be an instant millionaire. That's the way to do it, by the way. I, I showed you how to get level 25. You can be immediately a millionaire in the game without any effort. Dude, where are her seeds? Hey, 9,500. Okay, so watermelon, there we go. Only 12,000, oof. Yeah, I'll sell these. That's an okay price. All right, we got to find a good place to sell our other seed. We have four of them. We need like, I, I want to see like 20,000 for them. That'd be nice. Cause then we can get like, that'd be like 80,000. And that bump us right over where we need to be. We need to be over two mil. So let's get back to work. All right, we're back to Sikulish's Island. Let's see if he's got a better deal than Izzy. 15,000, okay. Oh, it's still, yeah, eh. it's all right. We'll do it for him. We made money off of him. Not quite what I wanted, but hey, we're really close. We're really, oh, we, we made 2 million, sweet. Should we go like 10 million? Kind of tempted, kind of tempted. Oh, you know what? I should get at least something better than iron though. These are pretty affordable. Like I'm thinking about buying this one. Oh no, his server ran out of memory. All right, so we have 2 million. We can go farms. Let's go do that. I want to make another blast thing. These are better than steel mills. Like, these are so good. Let's go set up another one over here. I also need to buy another totem for coal because it's not going to cut it. By the way, another tip, if you are new to the game, definitely go to public servers because, you know, as much as I like private servers because it's just less lag, you get shared loot. So if you go to a public server and you kill stuff, you get shared loot. So you don't have to do all the work. So we're going to go grind some bosses now. Um, I've got 2 million or I had 2 million. I was close to 2 million, okay? But we're gonna go grind some more and then we're gonna get some more money let's go do the boss no don't kill him all right we got him we got him we got him nice oh i got a pink sticky got another pink sticky gear that's five hundred thousand, dude we can just sit here all day and make it so i got more tokens i can go spawn another one but i think that guy's about to spawn one dude at least we're leveling up our magic fast i'll go spawn one let's go no don't kill him don't kill him no scam Scam. All right, let's go to a different boss. Oh, she's about to she's about to spawn him. Oh, she didn't spawn him. Yeah, that's the best place to farm for a bit because you get, you, I mean, pink sticky gears are so valuable right now. Imagine you get at least four pink sticky gears per hour, all right? Four. You're making two million an hour. As a new player, that's pretty good. Oh, I just got another pink. I just got another pink. That's, that's a million right there. I just made another million. Can we get to 10 million doing this? That'd be so funny. See, here's the problem with this whole public server setup for this is you have to spawn them all the way over there. And by the time you come back from the spawn, everyone's killed whatever you just spawned. So they don't wait for you. Got another green sticky. Got another pink sticky. And we got a fragment. We got a mysterious fragment. Um, out of all different bosses currently in the game, this is probably the most valuable because of the totem cost. So everyone wants those pink sticky gears. So the pink sticky gear is something that you can go and sell to someone right away. It's really easy to get for the value exchange and rarity. So it makes sense to grind it. All right, so we grinded for a while. In fact, we kind of AFK like farmed a tiny bit, okay? A little bit. Look how many pink sticky gears we got. So let's go sell these. See, I don't think Sickalicious is on anymore. He was pretty generous with his prices. Okay, he's got pink sticky gears here. Whoa, 700,000. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, he's out of money. This one. Okay. We just got 6.3 mil. We have 10 million already. Dude, it's so easy to get rich in the game now. We still have blue and green to sell. What else do I have to sell? I think that's it. Look how many fragments I got. Nine fragments. That's funny. You cannot sell fragments, unfortunately. Those are not valuable. Okay, I don't see any blue sticky gears or green ones. Let's see if they're downstairs. Does he have anything else down here? Yeah, there's a whole, like, what is this? Oh, oh these are colors? I think these are all flowers. I have I have a red tulip to sell. Yeah, I could sell red tulip. 400,000. Dude, I'm getting rich. I already have... 10.6 million. Let's run over here. Okay, here's green sticky gears. We just made 656,000 on that. Let's do these. And we just made 800,000 on the blues. So we're up to 12 mil already. So you know what? We made a lot of money today. We got 12 million. I, I almost kind of want to go to 100 million, but it probably require being overnight, which we're not going to do today. If you've been stuck with like thousands of coins, just follow the steps that I just took. It didn't take long at all. So let's go. We're just going to do one more thing here. We want to finish it off with selling all these slimes. Go and sell these. 8,200. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. So that was a pretty successful run. It was a little over two hours, which is not bad for 10 million. I mean, at this point with 10 million, I mean, I've got 12 mil and I've made more than that because I did spend a little bit. So I mean, I think the next step for this, if I wanted to get to 100 million is to continue farming like that. We technically didn't even need the combat levels. I don't even know why I grinded that. Why We didn't even need to go there. We just needed Slime Island. Man, I could have done this video faster. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me get to 100 million with this account and maybe even a billion eventually. Maybe I'll get to a billion. Maybe. Okay. A billion is going to take a lot longer. Okay. And I'm not going to grind for a billion on this account. I'm sorry. I'll do hundred million though. I will do hundred million for you. Let me know if you want to see that. I will definitely do it. Thanks again. And I'll see you next time. Peace.